This is part two, continuing on the problem of the macroscopic momentum balance equation. The problem we're doing is this one, which is a jet impinging on a wall. Inlet flow M1, outlet flow M2, outlet flow M3. We performed a mass balance and a, micro, mac, um, a mechanical energy balance, which let us know that the velocity was the same in every stream. And now we're working on the macroscopic momentum balance equation. And we've written it this far and noted the definitions of the various terms in the macroscopic momentum balance equation. And this is where we've arrived, where we've written these three convective terms and the force on the wall, which we're trying to calculate. So we can look at the Z component and we see that 0, 0, 0, we see that Rz is 0. We can look at the x component, and we see that m1 v at surface 1 minus m2 v at surface 2 times sine of alpha plus m3 v at surface 3 sine of alpha is equal to minus rx. And the y component, we have 0 minus m2 v at surface 2 cosine of alpha plus m3 v at surface 3 cosine of alpha equals minus ry. Now this is actually not enough information to solve the problem. We need to know the ratio of the two streams, M1 and 2. We know that M2 plus M3 adds up to M1, but we don't know the split. The missing information about the split comes in the problem statement that indicates that the sliding friction between the fluid and the wall is negligible. So there is no going to, we're not going to allow any sliding friction between the fluid and the wall. The force on the wall, if there is no sliding friction, the force on the wall cannot have this little component here that I've drawn that kind of is tangential to the wall. In fact, the force R must be perpendicular to the wall if there is no friction at the wall. So. The fact that we have no friction at the wall allows us to write that for our stream, for our wall and our coordinate system, the vector we're looking for r must be perpendicular to the wall. So that allows us to write that if I write a, a unit normal vector, um, if, I, if I write this vector which is in the plane of the wall, um, I can just call that uh, the J, um, let's call it the W vector, the wall vector. These two vectors must be perpendicular. All right, so this is alpha, and so I can decompose W, and I get that W, a unit vector, is equal to, it's got an X component, which is sine alpha. It has a Y component, which is cosine alpha, zero. And now I want to add the constraint that this vector r must be perpendicular to w, and so r dot w must be 0. Well, since r is rx, ry, rz, when I dot these two vectors, I get rx sine alpha plus ry cos alpha is equal to zero. This additional fact plus the two components of the momentum balance is now plus the mass balance result plus the fact that the velocities are equal is all enough to solve the problem. 
So the rest of what we have to do is just a bit of algebra. So we can get it started and then maybe leave the rest to you. We also know actually that alpha is equal to 45 degrees. And so the sine of alpha equals one over the square root of two. And the cosine of alpha is also one over the square root of two. So they're equal to each other and equal to one over the square root of two. So beginning with the momentum balance, we have m1v minus m2v times sine alpha plus m3v sine alpha equals minus rx and minus m2v I'm going to call this sine of alpha because sine and cosine are equal, plus m3v sine of alpha, just reducing the number of variables I have to rewrite, um, ry. Going back to this equation that we got from the perpendicular condition, if sine and, and cosine are equal, then these, uh, this becomes rx plus ry equals zero. So I can use that in my algebra to, by adding these two up. rx plus ry is equal to zero. And I can just do the algebra and eventually without too much trouble, we end up with the final result. So the final result turns out to be that m3 is equal to 0 0.171 m2 and therefore m2 is equal to 0 0.578 kilograms per second and m3 is equal to 0 0.099 kilograms per second and the final vector for the force is given by R equals 2.03 newtons minus 2.03 newtons, zero, x, y, z.